Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at these two Minecraft figures. Now, disclaimer, I have never played Minecraft. I want to, but I just haven't. I've got the Xbox version lying around somewhere in storage, so I will be getting to it eventually. Uh, now, before I get on to reviewing these figures, a little bit of a life update. This might be the last video that I do for a few weeks to a month because I am going to be moving into the actual new house soon. This one that you see here, this one, this is just a temporary house while the purchase of the one that we were going to actually goes through. So yeah, we're going to be leaving this house and moving into the actual new house. So, like I said, this will be the last video for at least up to a month. I'm hoping it's only going to be like two or three weeks, but at least it's probably going to be at most a month. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into these figures. So, we have the skeleton wolf and a fox. I do have some of the human Minecraft figures, but I, when it comes to Minecraft, I am mostly about the animals, in terms of the figures at least. So we're going to start off with the Skeleton Wolf, because I'm mostly looking forward to seeing the fox. So, let's get this guy open. Oh, I guess we should look at the packaging. Um, just a nice Minecrafty background, sky and grass. Then the back, it shows you all the other figures you can get. So we've got a uh, dyed cat, Alex, Enderman... Uh, a moo bloom, I think that's what the packaging said in the shop. Skeleton wolf, creeper, and the fox. Each figure comes with two, um, like foldy paper crafty boxes. Well, blocks. But I have a feeling those will not be kept. I will just end up binning them because it's paper. Well, recycling them because it's paper. Alright then, so. These are the two blocks, so we have, uh, it's either grass or a watermelon, and we have rock, <laughs> we have some sort of rock. As I said, I've never played Minecraft, I don't really know, all I know about it is from watching YouTubers. Go. So let's get those out of the way. Those can go in for recycling. And here we have the skeleton wolf. That is really, really weird. <laughs> it is weird. Alright, so it is very basic uh, skeleton. But it does look pretty nice. You know, it, you know it, for a Minecraft figure, it does look quite nice. Um, for articulation, the head seems to be on a ball joint, so you've got a bit of wiggly waggly. Most Minecraft figures actually usually only have the head tilt, so to have a little bit of wiggly waggly is quite good. The legs can, front legs can go back that far and forward that far. Uh, back legs can go back that far and forward that far. Because I think the idea is you can have them sitting, like that. And then the tail can go up and down, like it's wagging. But yeah, the idea with the animals is you can at least get them to sit like that, or at least with the wolves. Because every wolf figure from Minecraft I have can sit like that. It's got all the printing on its arse. See, that actually looks quite nice. It's kind of cute in a horrifying sort of way. But, oh well, I have some muck on its ear for some reason. So, yeah. As for its accessory, it comes with a bone. Which the regular wolf from an older series, I think. It was either an older series or it was a different like line altogether. But like the normal wolf came with a bone as well. Can it actually hold the bone? Its mouth is, its mouth is open. It can hold the bone. Okay, that's kind of cute. So let's sit you and put you over there. And let's take a look at the blocks. So you just basically just fold 
all of the flaps. You fold it inwards on all of the fold lines. Like so. And then you just fold the box up. Tuck that tab in. And fold the lid. Tuck that tab in. And then fold the bottom and tuck that tab in. There we go, there's a Minecraft block. It came untapped. Now I don't know if this is just normal rock, if it's granite, oh, I don't think it'd be granite. Or if it's the coal, because it kind of looks like the one with the coal in it, with the black on it. But I don't know. Now uh, let's fold the one that I think is either a watermelon or a grass block. It doesn't look like the grass on the packaging, so I'm tempted to say it's a watermelon. Like I said, I don't know Minecraft, but it just kind of looks like a watermelon to me. Because watermelons? Come on. There we go. I'll just fold those inner tabs in a bit better. Come on. And there we go. This is the little green block. Yay. It's, it's a piece of cardboard. <laughs> you can stack them. There we go. Oh, that's the skeleton wolf. That's all I can really say about that. Now for the fox. Exactly the same packaging, except it says fox there. And exactly the same on the back. So let's get into it. Come on, accessory. This does not want to come out. <laughs> come on. Right. After this, there we go. Got it. Right. Come on, little fox. There we go. He came out easily. Right. Oh, what's this? A bit of rubbish. Right, so here is the fox. This thing is adorable. I've always loved the Minecraft foxes when I've seen them. I mean, look at that little face. It's so cute. Its ears are wonky. That's even cuter. Its ears are kind of all, are on a little bit wonky. And they look like more eyes. But okay then. Oh, it can look down. That's good. Right. Very nice little fox. All of the Minecraft figures, as you can see, if I hold it up to the light, and if it wants to focus. There we go. If I hold it up to the light, you can see the little um, square detailing on the figure. It just gives it a bit of texture rather than it being all smooth. And yeah, this fox is adorable. So, articulation. The head is, once again on a little bit of a ball joint so you can get a tiny bit of wiggly waggly it can also lock down a little bit which the wolf can't now I was wondering if it could if they'd made it so it could look down because of the rounded um, underside of the head front legs can go back that far and forward uh, that far it feels like they could go forward further but the head is in the way Back legs can go back that far and forward all the way because I'm guessing, like the wolf, it can sit. So, yeah, and also the tail, once again, can go up and down. Yeah, let's make you stand up again. There we go, so there's little Foxy. Here is the accessory you get with it. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a 
bird of some sort. But it also looks a bit like one of the villagers with the big nose. So I'm wondering if it's just some sort of like mini totem collectible sort of thing, a bit of treasure. And that has a little peg on the back of it. And then the fox has that underneath. And the idea is you put it in the fox's mouth like that. Because in the game, the fox basically just brings you stuff. As long as you take care of it, the fox brings you uh, goodies. So yeah, they can hold it in his mouth and take stuff to you, bring stuff to you. Can it actually, it would be cool if I could get this to stand on its back legs. Obviously it wouldn't balance properly, but yeah, it can kind of stand on its back legs. But yeah, so that's the fox. That is really cute. I'm really glad I got this one. It's so cute. Look, it's cross-eyed. But yeah, really glad I got the fox. And now this guy comes with two of the same um, blocks. So I'm just going to make one. Yeah, I'm only going to make one of these blocks. Because they're both the same. And like I said, these are definitely just going to end up going in recycling. Because it's just a bunch of cardboard. There we go. So I'm not bothered about any extras that come with figures that are made of paper. Or cardboard in this case. Just because they never last. I am honestly more bothered about the figures themselves. So, here is the block that the fox comes with. Uh, I believe it's a dirt block. So, yeah, can't really say anything else about that. It is a block of dirt. Or is it like the uh, the bed layer that you can't dig down into? So I'll put it that way around. Auto focus again, please. So there we go. Let me move the camera a bit closer. Uh, yeah, that's about that. I can't really say anything else about these figures. Uh, they are super cute. If you're going to get one of these, I can highly recommend getting the fox. Because I roughly remember when foxes were first added to the game, everyone was going crazy because of how cute they were. So, yeah. I mean, get the that wolf as well. Let me just get him set. There we go. I mean, you can get the skeleton wolf too. But I more recommend the fox, just because it's so bloody fucking cute. Yay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that was that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video. Whatever and whenever that'll be. Bye!